In this video, we will pit some of the worst reviews of the Barcelo Bavaro Palace against some of the best and compare them with our own experience to help you decide if this is the right resort for your Punta Cana vacation. This reviewer raves about the Bavaro Palace's beach. It's gorgeous with crystal clear water perfect for swimming and snorkeling. We couldn't agree more, Bavaro Beach is gorgeous and is considered to be among the worst top beaches. During our visit, the beach was also crystal clear, calm and seaweed free. These conditions can change season by season or even daily, but Bavaro Beach is generally a top-notch beach. On the other hand, this reviewer warns that the beach area doesn't have palapas or small huts, just some scattered palm trees. Shade is hard to find on the beach. If you don't claim your spot in the shade by 6 or 7 am, you will sit in the full sun. We noticed this as well. Shade is very limited in the beach area. The palm trees were not very large and were few and scattered. The resort should plant more trees in this area or install beach huts and palapas to increase shade coverage. The following review complains about something similar. The pool area is very large, but not large enough for the thousands of guests. To get a lounger at the pool, you must be down there by 6 or 7 am to claim your share, or you will have anywhere to sit. The main pool area is extensive, and we believe it can handle the influx of guests staying at the Bavaro Palace, even at high occupancy. However, the lounge chair inventory cannot. There should be more lounge chairs by the pool because finding one available during the day is challenging. People reserve them using their towels early in the morning, so if you're not an early bird, you'll most likely have to put your belongings on the floor while using these pools. We have nothing against reserving lounge chairs, but if you do, please be mindful that other guests also need them and don't hug them the entire day if you're not using them. This guest had an amazing trip, everything about this resort was great, the grounds were immaculate, the pool and beach were amazing, there was entertainment during the day as well as at night. The palace's grounds were spotless, lush and very well groomed, we love the tropical garden feeling the property has and how Dominican it feels. When it comes to day entertainment, we agree with this review. The entertainment staff members do a great job engaging guests of all ages during the day with various activities like aerobics, stretching exercises in the pool, and beach volleyball tournaments. They also organize games of ping pong, petanque, or chess. When it comes to the food, this guest only finds there's one way to describe it, just plain disgusting. It's basically equal to bad cafeteria food or one-star resort in Cuba, undercooked chicken and cold everything. We have to strongly disagree with this reviewer. We've been to 15 resorts in Punta Cana, and while the Barceló Bavaro Palace's food has not been the best, it's right up there in our rankings. The buffet offered tasty food and plenty of options for all tastes. We particularly enjoy the breakfast buffet. The same can be said about the specialty restaurants. They're not end of the world good, but they offer tasty dishes. We will definitely not compare the food at the Bavaro Palace to cafeteria food. We've stayed in over 10 Putacana resorts and we aim to stay in all of them and document our experience. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Similarly, this reviewer says that the buffet consistently produced unappetizing dishes and that the lack of labeling made it hard to understand what you were putting on your plate. I've already made clear our disagreement with the food being bad, but regarding the labeling of the buffet dishes, we have to agree. While some dishes were labeled, others were not. We could also see labels that did not match the food on display. Since resort buffets offer different cuisines and recipes, proper labels make it much easier to choose your food. It may be a small thing, but it makes a big difference. The review goes on to say that the staff of the hotel seemed unhappy to help guests, often scoffing or appearing very disinterested in helping with basic hotel services. We wouldn't describe the staff of the Bavaro Palace as rude or unpleasant, but let's say that good service stood out. 
usually is the other way around. Bad service stands out in a pool of good service. We experienced excellent service at dinner in the Mexican restaurant, but it was average or below average during the rest of our stay. This next guest went to the 19th Hall restaurant for breakfast and lunch. It was the best we experienced, plus a much smaller vibe. We loved Ojo 19 restaurant. There's your Spanish word of the day, Ojo, which means Hall. Ojo 19 is an a la carte restaurant at the end of the golf course. It's less crowded than the lunch buffet and mainly used by guests playing golf, but it's available to everybody. The view of the golf course is gorgeous and it was a lovely experience. Here I had the short ribs and Ari had a margarita pizza and both were very good. There is a small buffet for appetizers while you wait for your order. The decoration at Ojo 19 was on point and this experience was also one of the highlights of our stay. This reviewer complains that the only good coffee cafe doesn't open until 4 p.m. and is joined with a cigar lounge. They really miss having a coffee cafe open all day to get beverages and lounge. Many Punta Cana resorts have a coffee shop where you can grab a coffee and a light snack between meals. We find ourselves gravitating towards these coffee shops whenever we are at a resort and they even become our favorite hangout places like at the Lopezang or the Ocean Alfaro. In the Barceló Bávaro Palace, it's the coffee rum and cigars bar, but it opens at 4 p.m. We commented about this while we were there and the fact that we missed a coffee shop that was open all day. The coffee rum and cigars bar is also a smoking lounge and although we didn't mind, we can see how this can be a turn up for some people. This person found so much to do at any time of the day or night, zero complaints. We totally get what they mean, this resort is loaded with amenities, tennis, paddle, volleyball and basketball courts, board games, golf, mini golf, ping pong, wave pool, water slides, a bowling center, an arcade, an escape room, a soccer field and even a baseball field. You name it and you'll probably find it in the Barceló Bávaro Palace. At night, you also have the disco, the casino, the night show and the 24-7 sports bar. Some of these amenities are included in the hotel fare while some are not. I will be surprised if anyone got bored at this resort. On the other side of the coin, because of the size of this resort, you will do lots of walking or you can take the little train anywhere on the resort. Yep, come prepared to walk a lot at the Barceló complex. This property is enormous. Also, depending on which building your room is located in, you'll be walking a lot more or a lot less from your room to the main part of the hotel. Our room was in building number one, the furthest away from the lobby building, and it took us about eight minutes of brisk walking to get there. You can also ride the trains that go around the property, taking guests from one spot to another. The trains run from 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. at reliable intervals. Now click on this video for our complete and honest review of the Barceló Bávaro Palace Resort.